Hey there, Skeleton Key here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to Skeleton Key's Mysterious Mayhem Readathon. So this will be taking place later this month, May 25th through the 31st. And this is the first time I have ever run a readathon on my own. So I'm going to keep it kind of low key. I'm going to suggest some prompts. There are five prompts. Four of them are reading prompts and one of them is an activity prompt. You are welcome to ignore the prompts completely and just read whatever you like that represents mysterious mayhem to you. You can read one book, you can read 20 books, if you can do that in a week. There are people who can do that in a week. I am not one of those people. <laughs> I will not be doing that. And, and you don't have to decide now. You can wait and on the spur of the moment, I'm going to go through my list of prompts and I'm going to list books that I'm planning to read. My plans may change, um, but these are the four books that I'm planning to read. And um, I'll also make a suggestion for a fun activity that you can do for the activity prompt. But let's just jump right into it, shall we? So I decided I was going to do four reading prompts. One for Skeleton, one for Key, one for Mysterious, and one for Mayhem. So for the Skeleton prompt, read a book that has a skeleton or bone word or image on the cover. So uh, a skeleton or bone word, I mean skeleton, skull, tibia. I, I don't know if there are any books with tibia in the title, but femur or an image. It doesn't have to be in the title. I am going with Villains and Vengeance, which is uh, the most recent Sirens Benefit anthology, but you can see there's this skull up here in the corner. So that is my skeleton book. And, and full disclosure, my work appears on page one, um, right after the introduction, right there. So if you're looking for some murderous poetry involving poison beverages, uh, this is a good place to find it. And there are short stories. I have not read all of them yet. So my, my plan is to finish reading all of them later this month. And this is available on Amazon. Um, you can get paperback or Kindle and support the Sirens Conference. The second prompt is the key prompt. And that is a book with key in the title or a key on the cover. And um, there is, there's a key hole on the cover, but there is no actual image of a key on the cover. Um, but this is another book from my wall of shame. I set it down because I wanted to reread Ray Bradbury's short story, The Velt, because I think it may be important to this. We'll, we'll see. But the word key is in the title. For the mysterious prompt, to read any book that has a mystery or a puzzle. And you can define that however you like. Um, it could be like a true crime thing. It could be a book of puzzles. I'm just going to go with another mystery book. This is The Right Sort of Man by Alison Montclair. And this was, I didn't quite finish this for a book club a while back. So I want to finish this. In a London slowly recovering from World War II, two very different women join forces to launch a business venture in the heart of Mayfair, the Right Sort Marriage Bureau. Miss Iris Sparks, quick-witted and impulsive, and Mrs. Gwendolyn Bainbridge, practical and widowed with a young son, are determined to achieve some independence and do some good in a rapidly changing world. But the promising start to their marriage bureau is threatened when their newest client, Tilly LaSalle, is found murdered and the man arrested for the crime is the prospective husband they matched her with. So yeah, I was really enjoying this and I want to get back to it, which I will do later this month. And then Mayhem, the prompt is to read a book that represents or involves chaos. And this is your interpretation, however you want to interpret that. 
And so I'm going with Una Out of Order. This is by Margarita Montemore. Montemore? Montemore. Hmm, I don't know. Just because life may be out of order doesn't mean it's broken. It's New Year's Eve 1982 and Una Lockhart has her whole life before her. At the stroke of midnight she will turn 19 and the year ahead promises to be one of consequence. Should she go to London to study economics or remain home, at home in Brooklyn to pursue her passion for music and be with her boyfriend? As the countdown to the new year begins, Una faints and awakens 32 years in the future in her 51-year-old body. Greeted by a friendly stranger in a beautiful house she's told is her own, Una learns that with each passing year she will leap to another age at random. So that sounds really chaotic. That's my interpretation. You do you. I am not the Readathon Police. I'm happy to chat with you below and I, I am looking forward to hearing what your interpretations are of these prompts. I will probably, I mean, the whole Twitter thing is kind of up in the air right now as to how much I want to participate on Twitter. From my perspective, things probably won't change much because I'm not what you would call active on Twitter. I, I kind of stay over in my little literary hidey hole of Twitter and you know post progress reports on what I'm reading. I, I don't do a whole lot else. So I probably will be posting updates over on Twitter so you're free to join me over there and I will be using the hashtag mysterious mayhem both here and over on Twitter. I probably won't end up on Instagram much at all if at all. Uh, I still have not I'm still locked out of my Instagram account because of the whole replacement phone thing and it doesn't believe me that I am who I say I am so I don't know. I, I may just be abandoning Instagram altogether. But wait there's a fifth prompt and this is an activity prompt and this is another one that you can do pretty much whatever you want, and that is to solve a puzzle. Bring forth order from chaos. So that, that can be a crossword puzzle, a sudoku, and if you're looking for something really quick and low stress, my friend Edie has a channel on YouTube that is all visual puzzles. It, it's called What Do You See? and I will post a link down below. So you can go check that out and look, she's got several different kinds of little visual puzzles, um, things like a blurred image, and then you have so many seconds to figure out what it is as it resolves. Um, so fun little visual puzzles like that, and I think she's got some rebuses on there now. But yeah, go give Edie a visit on her What Do You See channel. And that is a super quick way to tick off one whole prompt. And you can also combine these prompts however you like. So if you want to solve an entire book of puzzles, then you can count that for the mysterious prompt, a book with a mystery or puzzle. And of course a lot of mystery books have skulls, or bones, or skeleton keys on the cover. A lot of books with keys in the title or the on the cover aren't mysteries at all. So you can, you can change this up, you can mix and match however you want to. I really hope you will join me on my fun little adventure at the end of May. And please like and subscribe and see you around.